we believe uh, pension reform is very important um, for a number of reasons. I, I don't want to go into a full detail of discussion, but with the basic point is Ukraine has one of the highest uh, level of expenditure in pensions in the world. Nearly 18% of GDP is paid in pensions. It has payroll taxes that represent about 35% of gross wages. Um, and despite this, the pension fund is absorbing 7% of GDP out of the budget every year. And what do you have in exchange for these very radical numbers? You have very low pensions, and you have a system that under most projections will not be sustainable in the future. So they need to do reform for the people who are currently working to make sure that they can have pensions in the future, that they have a system in which they can rely. So pension is very important, not only for short-term fiscal reasons, but for medium-term reasons. Second, the, the gas tariff increases, which have been discussed, and everyone knows uh, this is very important. Ukraine needs to improve its energy efficiency. Ukraine needs to bring NAFTA gas to be a sound company because NAFTA gas has been absorbing huge amount of resources from the budget, resources that could be used in infrastructure, resources that could be used in social spending to improve the living standards of the population. The third point is, as everyone knows, if we had in the, the initial commitment was to increase gas prices 50% in April. It has been changed for 20% in April and 10% in June as part of our negotiations. The lower gas tariff increase will generate less resources, and this needs to be offset. And the government needs to put measures to offset this. Our reform is not only about the prior actions. Our program is much broader than fiscal issues. We are dealing with the banking strategy. The banking system suffered tremendously during the crisis. The banking system has regained its liquidity. Deposits are now higher than they were before the crisis. Banks, private banks have been recapitalized. The government is also looking at other fundamental issues on the financial sector. And our program, our discussions are broad-based.